Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, Model Rocks 321 here. Today we have a special unboxing. This box just arrived from Estes. It is a care package box. Let's get this open right now. Um, let's see what we have in store. Thanks again to Estes for hooking me up with this. Let's see what we got. Let's get this open. Couple cuts right there. And this box does have like a dent right here. Hopefully everything inside is still good. Um, let's see what we got. Some paper. Bunch of paper. Ooh, let's get all this paper out of here. Paper, paper, paper. Uh oh, more paper. Okay, so before we get to that, let's see what we got here. Thanks for ordering. This is Ryan. This is a care package. So this is courtesy of Estes Rockets. Oh yeah, let's see. I'm trying to get this guy out of here. Alright. This box over here. I guess it still work out to stay down low. Okay. So it's wrapped in this tissue paper. And we're gonna start tearing this open. Brand new release. Brand new release by Estes. It is the ULA Vulcan. It is already built. Man, check this out right here. ULA Vulcan. No build necessary. Vulcan rocket. Estes, look at that scale. Nice. All oh, the detailing. Got that big, nice red. I think it's a feather. Their logo. I think it's a feather or a wing or something like that. But very nice. Super excited for this rocket right here. Look at that right there. I got the ULA up top. American flag, got those strap-on boosters right there. Very nice. Wow, brand new release. I'm not even sure if these are available yet. Um, let's see what it takes to fly. It's one 100 scale, ready to fly, 25 inches tall, 2.7 inch diameter, recovery systems parachute, maximum altitude 650 feet, flies on D12-3 and E12-4 engines. Requires a 316 launch rod. Very nice. ULA is the nation's most experienced launch service provider delivering unmatched value, a tireless drive to improve and to improve and a commitment to the extraordinary. Vulcan is the ULA's next generation rocket. The Vulcan's inaugural launch marked the beginning of a new, new era in space capability, providing high performance and extreme accuracy while offering the world's only high energy architecture rocket, a delivery rocket to deliver a payload at any time directly to any orbit. The Vulcan rocket leverages Centaur, the world's highest performing upper stage to deliver the ULA's industry leading legacy of reliability and precision. Centaur 5's matchless flexibility and extreme endurance enables the most complex orbital in insertions within the most challenging and exotic orbits. Very nice. How cool is that propulsion? Look at that normal thrust, sea level, 550 pounds each. So that's the, uh, I believe that the solid rocket boosters. Yeah, this is just all the um, the details of the real one. Check that out, the configuration. I wonder if this, I don't think that's going to, I doubt that that opens up. I have to get it open to see. But yeah, I don't think so. I think it's just going to be a nose cone. But they're just showing you the, um, the payload and the fairings. And the payload's on the inside. Got the spacecraft right there. Centaur upper stage, which is that part right there. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, the Centaur, they had a good run, historical run. Very cool. How cool is that? Brand new release. Oh man, I'm gonna be flying this real soon, especially since there is nothing to build. Nice size, man. They did good with that. Nice. Check that out. Check that out. By the Estes coming through with the Vulcan. Very nice, nice box, nice design. I see this sitting in the hobby shop right now. It's um nice, nice packaging. When I was about to open it, I knew I felt like I'm like, wait a minute, so this is gonna be. And I was expecting, I didn't know. Um, I thought it was gonna be a build kit. I didn't know. So cool, very cool. The Vulcan, ULA, nice ULA logo right there. These fly, these launch out of California. Um, I'm not sure if they fly out of um. What's the Vandenberg Air Force Base? I'm not sure. I'm not sure unless they have their own facility. Yeah, here's the stamp right here. What's the date on that guy? When did they have these 
sitting in the can't hardly tell. Twenty. Yeah, it's hard to see the date on there. But very nice. Shout out to Estes. Thanks, you guys. As usual, use discount code I N underscore three two one. Go to Estes Rockets. I'm not sure if these are on the site yet. This may just be an early, early sneak peek of what's to come. I know they unveiled these. I saw the. Um, I was excited when I saw that they were um, putting these out. Next thing you know, one came in the mail. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as usual, shout out to Estes Rockets and shout out to all you guys for participating in this hobby and or just checking out my videos. Like, share this stuff with you. But this will be in the air very soon. Very nice rocket. And I know it has to have some clear fins. Maybe a clear fin unit is probably down in this part. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Looks good. I'm going to get this open. Let's get it open. Let's get it open and check it out. Stay tuned right there. Let's take a look. And here it is. The Astron Omega. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, this is gonna be my worst crash ever. Oh! And here we go. I got the ULA Vulcan all open. Very, very nice detailing. Got Centaur right there. It's the Centaur stage. Got ULA, got the American flag right there, and got that nice red and gray design that swoops around. Got all kind of raceways running up and down right there. Got those, what is it, six, uh, six solid rocket boosters. Got the nozzles. Look at the detailing. Very cool. This little foam piece in the middle, I didn't pull that out yet, but very nice. One thing I did pull off was a piece of tape that was holding on this cone. I just took that off. Here's the plastic fin unit that you will use for flight. On the back of here, I didn't pull it off yet, but here's a display base. I'm sure that's what that is with a little rod. Um, and there's a spacer for your, if you're flying a D engine because this flies on E's and D's, so it has a longer motor mount. Inside of the box has that, it's a V shape with this, the Vulcan logo. So it has a V, the part of a V right there. And then they used the red to complete it. It was in here, I had to cut it loose, cut these little strands loose. But very cool rocket, man. I have no complaints. This is nice, 25 inches tall. Some good shot like that. Nice nose cone, that's a new shape. The fairing has a fair, you know, it's a fairing shape because it, has, it will have the payload will be in that upper part. 316 launch lug holes right there so yeah very cool I didn't take that foam out as I was mentioning I didn't take the bottom off yet either to see how you would display it um, or how you would fly it but I could see the hole in the bottom for that little metal piece that's on the back let me see if this will stand while I yeah so this is the base and there's this metal rod and on here I can see there's a hole like dead center between those two main engines. Um, that's where you would slide it on and display it. But very nice rocket, very nice, very nice. These are not decals. These are, feel like they're printed on. They use some kind of process to print this on. It's not a decal. Let me see if this is a decal. Yeah, I believe the whole thing's printed on. It even has that little corrugated look in that gray, just like the, uh, like the real one. But yeah, very nice. Um, has a date on there, March 12th. 2025 is dated got all SD's information right there. So yeah, this is a very nice kit very nice well ready to fly ready to fly kit so the Centaur brand new release by SD's you are seeing it here first So you can pick this rocket up. Be sure to check out my other videos. I got some other stuff up um, a flight from this one will be coming soon. I got so much to fly. I got to finish my mayhem Gonna be flying the Orbitron. Got some other surprises for you too. I've been working on the Rotor Dactyl, getting that back up. That is the big version, my big um, Rotor Rock. We got the Rotor Raptor, which is slightly smaller, flies on D engines and C, D and C engines. I mean D and E engines, but I have the Rotor Rap, Rotor Dactyl, the Pterodactyl, that flies on 29 millimeter F engines. So I'm just trying to find a motor. I had it on the F52 and it. The delay was probably too long and it turned over. It's a five second delay. 
So I'm thinking that F15, that's this F15 4 might be short enough because it might, should be an apogee. I'm hoping it'll slow it down good enough where it's still slightly pointing up. Then we'll get those blades out and get that rotation going. But yeah, just wanted to share these couple things with you. Um, very cool stuff right here. Very cool. Very nice release by Estes. And that's all I have to say for now, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're just getting into the hobby, subscribe, drop a comment. Also, remember to ring the bell so you'll get notifications when a new video come out. And, um, that's all for now, guys. Three, two, one, and I'm out.